So there might just be a Photoshop feature that you're missing out on, and I want to show you that here today. So if you go into the new document creation here, you have sections that already have presets for you. So maybe if you're doing photography prints or art and illustration, web design, mobile, etc. So one area that I use quite a bit is maybe going into the web section here. And more particularly, I use the 1980 by 1080 uh, web large photo because that works really well for YouTube photos. But let's say, for example, you want to start creating your own type of preset. We could do that over here where it says preset details. So what I'm going to do is hit this little icon here to save and I'm going to hit save document preset. Now I'm going to name this whatever it is basically corresponding to what I want to create. So in the web section technically I already have something for YouTube thumbnail, but let's say I want to do Facebook ads. Well there's different sizes for Facebook ads. So let's do this as a square Facebook ad. And I already know the proportions for that is going to be at least a minimum of 1080 by 1080. So once I put in all my proportions, get everything set up, then I can just simply hit Save Presets, and it's going to go in this Saved section. So this becomes very helpful if you're doing a various set of sizes for different things, whether that's prints for your clients. Maybe you can have in sizes here that are already preset for eight by 10 inch prints or uh, four by sixes because you know all those proportions are gonna be different. So you could simply go in and click on this and then you can change things like your resolution. So you could have a print version, you could have a screen version. So for me, that's usually 72 for screen or 240 or uh, 300 for printing. So just a cool little feature that you might not have known about or have been using here in Photoshop that might save you a lot of time and energy. But I hope you enjoyed today's video and as always be sure to create something new today.